Hello and welcome to another sketchbook club. This week we're going to be painting a wooden table covered in beer mats. I love vintage beer mats and coasters and have a little collection myself. So for this module as well as your sketchbook or paper you will also need a sheet of heavy weight cartridge paper. You'll need a set of colour pencils too but not watercolour pencils. We need some watercolour paints, a small and a large paintbrush and you'll also need either my magic potion kit or some white acrylic paint and a wide brush. You'll need some scissors too, a glue stick or also some double sided tape and optionally you might like to use some white gouache paint or white gel pen. Right, first of all print out your transfer sheets, reference sheet and instructions. So the first thing you want to do is to create your fake wood tabletop background. Do this by first of all mixing a nice pale brown paint and covering the whole page or sketchbook spread with this colour evenly. Then the next thing you're going to do is to mix a nice dark brown colour. I did this by adding a tiny dot of black to my dark brown paint. And when the pale colour is all dry, quickly add a layer of darker brown paint all over your pale brown paint background making sure you act quite fast so it doesn't completely dry. You might like to work in a bigger brush to speed the process up. Next, taking a serrated knife, create grooves by scraping the knife downwards across the paint. Keep scraping until you're happy that all the dark brown wood has wooden details. Now you might like to add a little bit of paint to make some fine wood knots here and there using a darker brown paint and a size one brush. Just makes it look a little bit more realistic. Now, if you're creating this as a card, the whole process is the same, but obviously on a much smaller scale. Next, roughly cut out the beer mats to transfer. These are the larger ones in reverse. As you cut them out, leave a little bit of white space around them so you're sure to transfer all the edges. Next, arrange your chosen mats onto your spread. I would recommend taking a photo here so you remember your composition design. If you're making a card, just choose one that fits your card shape well. Now make up some magic potion either from my kit or taking some white acrylic paint and a wide fat brush and mixing with a little water so it looks a bit like single cream. There's also a special video on YouTube with further instructions if you need it. Next, choose a beer mat you will not be using as a practice piece. So cover an area a little bigger than the beer mat on a separate piece of heavyweight paper. Make sure the area is nice and wet. Then place the image face down and rub the whole of the back firmly with your finger pads. Act fast in case it sticks. Then peel away to reveal the image you will have enough of a template to use as a guide when we start to add colour. Now you just need to repeat this process until you have all the beer mats transferred onto your paper. Now it's coloured pencil time. Please make sure not to use watercolour pencils as they will merge with the paints. Now keeping a close eye on the reference sheet, this is the one where they're all smaller and the sort of right way round, start to go over all of the images using your pencils. This is a really stress-free relaxing process. <laughs> it's time to add your watercolours. If you'd rather not paint around the letters as it is a little bit fiddly, you could always use a watercolour wash of colour over the lettering as you should be able to see the coloured pencils through the watercolours. And you can always add white later using pen or paint. So carry on adding your paints until they are all full of colour. <laughs> Now you've 
got your lovely watercolour base, it's time to go back to your coloured pencils. Add a little bit more definition and shading, etc. Make the designs more pronounced and make the lettering clearer and more defined. Feel free to fiddle with this for hours. I certainly did. Finally, you might like to add a little white paint or white gel pen to add highlights or to define some of the lettering. So, now all the beer mats are complete. It's time to start to cut them all out. You might like to leave a little white border around the edges, but at the same time, they look just as good if you'd prefer to cut them closer to your artwork edges. They really do look like actual beer mats now, don't they? Once you've cut them all out, start to arrange them into a nice composition. You might want to refer back to that photo you took. Make sure some are overlapping the edges of the page or background so that the composition is even. If you're creating this with a mount as a frameable piece, you don't need to trim them before sticking them down. Without a mount, however, you do need to trim them before securing them. Stick the mats using either a glue stick or double-sided tape. If you are um, doing this in your sketchbook, trim the mats that are sticking out after they have been stuck down. Now, if you're making a card, simply stick your beer mat right in the middle using tape or glue. And there you have it, your finished masterpiece. I loved how different everybody's was when we did this in my studio sketchbook club and I cannot wait to see how yours turn out. So please do share your tables of beer mats using the hashtag sketchbook club beer mats. Have fun and cheers. See you at the next sketchbook club.